Well, hello everyone. It's me, Esther Barkew, and um, I woke up this morning feeling inspired to create this video for you with a tip on how to process those emotions that come upon us and we would describe as shock. Okay, shock, awe, uh, out of the blue, caught me by surprise. I heard it and my stomach dropped. Okay, and I felt this was important because recently I hosted a Eclipse Equinox energy event and some of the participants would email me, tell me about what changes were happening in their life, what news they were receiving, and they would use words like, oh my God, I was so shocked when I heard it. Or even words like, I was slain, I was gutted to know. Uh, I was taken aback. Even one person said, I, I just feel frozen in that moment when I heard that news. And that's what happens when we go through those types of energies, when we hear something that is not really that pleasing to us or is surprising to us or, you know, is out of the blue, we go into that. <gasps> and in that. Did you see how I pause? We do, we pause, whether it's for a second or many seconds, and what that does is lock in that energy. And that energy of shock continues then to play out in our mind, body, and energy field in the undercurrent. And so when it's in the undercurrent, what then happens is it becomes an attracting energy of more people, situation, news that is shocking to us. And it also changes our expectations. So when a friend calls up and says, hey, I got news, instead of you thinking, wow, I can't wait to hear your news, you're thinking, oh no, oh my gosh, what is the news, right? You default to that undercurrent. And it's not just what we would call uh, bad news. It could happen, this, this surprise, this shock, if you walk into a room and it's your birthday and there's a group of people having a surprise party for you and they jump out and yell, surprise, and you go, what? <laughs> right? And it just locks in. Because that surprise is a, is a mixture of all kinds of energies. Or you're walking down the street and a car backfires and there's a big bang and you jump like, what was that? and you lock it in your body. Or th this happens to me if I'm in an elevator, either going in or out, and I'm not expecting someone else to be there when the door opens, I'm like, oh, <laughs> there, there you are. <laughs> I should have anticipated that there might have been someone there. And that <gasps> just gets caught within. And so it's very important, not only with this shock energy, with all energies, is just to allow the energies to flow through right, to allow the anger, the fear. But we're talking specifically about the shock energy right now because we are going through a period of dramatic change where there's sudden announcements, big news. Um, there's a lot of activity on the global scene that can be very shocking and surprising and, and catch us off guard. And so the next time that this happens, and you may catch yourself instantly in the moment, it may be minutes later, days later, even weeks later, Okay, the more conscious we are becoming, the more quickly we'll catch it. It's important that in that moment when you go <gasps> and say, and now I'm going to release it. And that's really what I do. I catch myself going, oh, elevator person. <laughs> and my, you know, my hands might even go up. And then it's like, I go, I must release this. And I just breathe it down my body and into the ground. I actually move, you know, move my hands in that direction. You can flick it out of your fingers, you can radiate it, your body, but just let it run through you. Do not allow that energy to get caught up inside of you because it will only fester and grow and begin to affect all areas of your life. Okay, so remember, take that breath, release it and just process it down. It's really simple, very easy. And once you remember to do it, it's going to start to happen instantaneously. All right. So the second piece to this is I wanted to tell you about my upcoming live event, the next live event, also inspired by those participants of the Eclipse Equinox event. It is ending separation with the body beautiful.
Okay, it's happening October 26th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Yes, you will get a recording if you're unable to make it live. It's going to go two to three hours. I tend to always do my webinars on the longer end. Um, there will be a Q&A at the end with whatever time is remaining. And if you're not able to make the call live, you will be able to include your questions um, ahead of time. And so why is this so important? You know, since about halfway through the year, I really got the message that for the, for the rest of 2017, I needed to really not only take care of my body, like really up the quotient on take caring of my body, but also come into deeper harmony and partnership with it, okay? Because the body, of course, is our vessel. It hosts, it hosts our spirit, our soul essence. It is not a thing, right? It is not bad body. It is a beautiful home, a beautiful vessel, a beautiful vehicle for us to have this earthly experience with. And that means we're partners, right? No more separation, no more separation. And when we partner with the body, we will have an enhanced living experience. We'll be more in one. So just as we're ending separation with source and coming into harmony and wholeness, it's important to do this with the body as well so we can really understand its signals, listen to its wisdom, ask it questions, and create a beautiful partnership of harmony. And so this is all going to be happening on October 26th. I invite you to join me. I'm going to put the link for more information and for sign up at the um, bottom of the video uh, in the comments section. And it's, it's going to be great. And I really feel that this is an important step for us to take right now because as we are becoming more of the light that we are, as we're bringing in higher frequencies and light codes all of the time, okay, as we are expanding, the body needs to also change and receive support from us to be able to hold this new light, to be able to hold the new frequencies. Right, to be able to undergo its own change and process. Okay, so as we're changing, as we're going through our ascension process, the body is as well. Right, and so we're going to come together and either start to create that partnership, that oneness with the body, or if you're already doing this, taking it to the next level of your experience. All right. So um, that's it for now. And hopefully I'll get inspired to do another video soon. Just remember next time you hear some news and you're not quite sure and you feel that oh, happening inside of you, just let it flow. Let it flow out. And consider joining me for the next live event, Ending Separation with the Body Beautiful. Until then, mwah, ciao.